Hey guys, uh, it's Tim back at you again with another Lithwire video. Today I want to go over the, uh, you can come over here in the settings tab, go down to list settings, and you can go this on each autoresponder you have, and uh, you can see pretty much all your settings and everything, most of that stuff, pretty self-explanatory, uh, like set right here, you got confirm, redirect URL, this is where you want to take your uh, visitor once they uh, confirm after they opt in with you. So you, make, you can put in a one-time offer there or just another one of your sites or just whatever you want to do. And right here you can put one in from uh, remove redirect, re, excuse me, redirect URL. And this is a, a site you can take them to when they decide to uh, unsubscribe from your list. And, uh, you know, you can actually pause your account right here if you need to. But you got to put all this information in. You'll even have to put in your postal address or, uh, or list wire. Want to confirm your, uh, your list that you create. I just got mine marked out. Personal reasons, I'm sure you understand. And, uh, right down here you can actually c connect it with Twitter. And what this will do, I think I've, I may have explained this before, but it'll, uh, when you send out a broadcast, you can have the option of having it tweeted out to Twitter. A link will be sent to uh, your Twitter account in a tweet where they can pull up and read that broadcast you sent out. And if you have any links, of course, you know uh, there's a lot of power with that. And same holds true with Facebook. Alright, I think that's uh, enough on that. And of course, you know, anytime if you have any questions, it's just... Uh, you can send me an email, this email right here if you need to, or ask me a question on my feed on my channel. And I'd be happy to uh, help you out on that. Alright, let's go over here to verification message. That's right here. This is the message that's sent when they had to confirm. Of course, it's a, a double opt-in, you know. And you can choose to just send this right here. Or... You can uh, actually add something of your own. That's what I like to do. Just make it a little bit more me. And uh, then all you have to do is uh, just update it down here. And you'll be done with that. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Alright. Let's go to custom fields. Ah. Uh, on trackers. Alright. <laughs> And what custom field do you can add a custom field to your uh, autoresponder? You can read up here and it tell you quite a bit about it. Like uh, pretty much like if you're into pet products or something of that nature, you can uh, add uh, put pet's name and they can put their pet's name and and make it a little more uh, personal as far as their pet goes and uh, you know something along them lines. But uh. You can play around with that. I haven't messed with it. I'm really not into pets or anything like that. My niche is mostly uh, internet marketing, but I have thought about getting other niches. But uh, let's move on and let's go to merge fields. Right, merge fields, this is pretty neat. You can, uh, like I'm sure, I'll explain it first and I'll go back to messages and show you what I mean. Like, my company there'll be a place where you have a drop down menu when you're creating messages and you can like my company whatever you fill in there and you click my company to insert it in the email that's what to go in it's becoming real handy for uh like contact info or signature files uh your phone number if you want to add it in there and websites if you want other websites to be inserted in in your at the bottom of your email or anything like that. So yeah, so you got URLs, and uh, it's pretty neat. But you can uh, play around with that. And like I say, if you have any questions, uh, you can uh, just let me know. I said I was going to explain that. Like, let's like, say the things are over here, what you're going to write in, and that'd be what you pull down, and when you enter whatever text, you're just going to put in here. You put it in your email by clicking on my first name, my company, and so forth. Let's go to uh, follow up message real quick and I'll show you what I mean. 
Mm, let's go down and you message for a sec. Yeah, here it is. Like prospects tags. You see here, you got all this right here. Yeah, like my company that was on there. We'll see whatever you uh, you typed in the blank box just the right of that in uh in merge fields. You can look at and that will what would that is what would go in there. It's big time saver, most definite. So uh, play around with it. It's a little bit of a short one today. Let's see. The next time we'll go over. Uh, Oh, yeah, that's a good one, tracking. Yeah, yeah. Next video, we'll go over tracking links. And I hope you uh enjoying these uh, this video course on ListWire. Uh, please like the video and uh, tell me what you think in my feed or, or shoot me a video response. All right, then. Until next time, uh, this is Tim, always caring and sharing. Have a great one.